Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. We're going to continue the Wax Is Not Dead series, and today we'll concentrate on hard paste waxes. They are my favorite to work with. They're easy to get on the panel, easy to wipe off, and let's compare a few of my favorite. Not all of them are here, but just some I grabbed out of the cabinet. The dozen or so that I pulled from the cabinet are a mixture of ceramic waxes, graphene waxes, uh, T1 Carnuba top grade waxes, boutique waxes, uh, also polymer waxes, and we're going to throw them all on a panel and compare them in many ways today. Uh, we have the Art to Shine Crystal Wax, we have a few of the Fireball Boutique Waxes, we have Gion uh, Hydrophobic Wax, we have Schur's Ceramic Wax, we have the Turtle Wax Graphene Wax, we have the Double Speed Wax from Built Hamber, and uh, obsidian wax, uh, another one from Art to Shine. We're going to throw them on the same panel and compare different aspects and characteristics of the hard waxes. This category often forgotten about and left behind lately because of the quick and easy spray ceramic sealants out there and available. I still enjoy them time from time. Uh, I you know, wouldn't incorporate them into a business because they, compared to other products out there, will slow you down just a little bit. But as an enthusiast, I still love to work with these, and I love the way they look. And they are a pleasure to work with, by the way. Some of the boutique waxes out there and available these days are just way overpriced and ridiculous. However, if money is no object, they're fun to work with. It's also neat that we have so many to choose from with so much stuff mixed in from polymers to top grade carnauba to graphene, titanium, ceramics, and much more. They come in many shapes and sizes and consistencies with different colors and scents. And some, just like the Fireball Sexy Lady Wax, target the females out there that love working on their automobiles. These waxes can be used on their own. They can be used as a standalone. They can also be used as toppers for just about any other protection available out there. If you're going to use as a standalone, proper prep will get you the most out of these. And I have to do this to the panel anyways, as I use this panel often for testing. Uh, the full prep decon is done before we lay down any of these protectants. So a wash, decon, iron remover, clay, uh, polish, even if it's a clear polish and you have to do it by hand, is better than nothing. We'll lay down a masking tape, divide up. We're not going to use everything here. Some of the, uh, there's like three or four of the Fireball Boutique Waxes. We won't use all of them, but uh, these are the ones I picked out for today. I have uh, a plethora of test panels and hoods laying out back. If the series does well, we'll continue and we'll throw some more on there. I'll take your requests to put on the panels. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's get this started one by one. We'll get them applied to their designated section, and I can kind of just briefly go over each one with you. So first, let's start with the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Graphene Paste Wax. So this paste wax, they incorporate uh, ceramic uh, SiO2 and graphene and probably many other things. Uh, so this container here is uh, $26. And this is a version of their 75th anniversary. It just doesn't have that uh, on the cap. That's the only difference. And this one here uh, boasts of uh, the graphene and ceramic giving strength, uh, being able to shield against swirls, oxidation, color fading, uh, crazy hydrophobic properties, uh, slickness, and gloss. It is very easy to apply. Um, most of these hard waxes, they go on, they're meant to go on thin, so it's a very thin layer, and because of that, it's easy to wipe off. So it's a quick, 
easy, great user experience for all of these uh, hard paste wax that I have today, and that's why I like them the most. Doesn't matter how you get them on the panel, guys. Circular motions, straight lines, it doesn't give a crap. Just get it on the panel, spread it out evenly, and then each one will have their own designated time to wait before you wipe them off. Most of them say just let it haze over. Most of them will give you uh, an exact time to let it dwell on the panel, and I will do so for each individual product. This one here, easy to wipe off. Um, a nice experience. You can feel the slickness right away. That won't be the case for every single one we use today. Some are actually grabby, but this one here feels good. It looks great, and we'll, that will only increase and improve as time goes by. Let's move on. Next up will be the Fireball Graphene Edition Show Car Wax. Graphene infused, 30% uh, SiO2, 50% T1 Carnuba Wax. So this one has uh, a whole bunch of different things mixed in with it, and it's priced in at $160. Again, some of these are just um, ridiculous when it comes to the price, but with some people, the price tag doesn't matter. It's the experience, so we will move on. This edition here brags of a high dose of the T1 Plus Carnuba, giving it a um, slick, silky feel, high hydrophobics, high water bead contact angle, and slickness and gloss. Again, easy to wipe off, a nice experience, just not sure it's worth the price. Almost complete opposite from the first one. This one is a bit grabby. At first, that improves, but just shows the differences between these products. Either way, first two are applied, and they look fantastic. They give you the nice, uh, rich, wet look with a little bit of depth. This one here, uh, next up, Boucher's uh, Car Care. This is a just a ceramic uh, carnauba wax. So, again, they come in many colors and scents and mixtures. Um, this one here, easy to get on, easy to wipe off. I couldn't find much other information on the product, including price. Um, but this is yet another version. And again, you can get it on the panel. doesn't matter if you're using circular motions, crisscross. Uh, you can play tic-tac-toe on the panel. It doesn't matter. Just spread the product out evenly. That's all you have to worry about. So this one here coming from a smaller company, we'll see how it holds up against some of the larger companies, well-known companies. It wipes off easy. It looks good. A great start. Next up is the Art to Shine Graphene Crystal Wax, one of the first to infuse graphene with their waxes. Uh, obviously includes the graphene and a crystal clear, crystalline-like wax that um, boasts to produce extreme gloss, some depth, and the illusion of a dripping wet surface on your automobile. Easy to get on there. It's hard to see where you have it. Um, so when you wipe off, just be careful. It's very, very thin. This one here is going to be 50 grams uh, in weight for $32.99. Easy to wipe off, and you can immediately feel the slickness under your towel. Okay, next up, Built Hammer Laboratories Double Speed Wax. This is a Carnuba polymer wax, a uh, synthetic wax, hard paste wax, easy to spread out, get on the panel, easy to wipe off, and a very popular wax.
going through many towels and applicators to ensure I do not cross-contaminate. It's time to wipe off after the designated time. You want these on there practically to haze over most of them. Some have a uh, pretty much exact time to wait uh, as a minimum. Uh, most of them you can apply to the whole vehicle and then come back when you're finished and then start to wipe off immediately. This one's a little grabby. Next up, we have the Art to Shine Graphene Obsidian Wax, $69.99. This is a graphene-infused wax, uh, reduced graphene oxide, RGO. And uh, this one here will give you nice water repellency. It does can contain carnauba, uh, boasts of three months durability, and gives you a deep, glossy finish. Wipes off easy, looks good, feels good. When it comes to the graphene and the borphine and all of these other buzzwords, I believe you all know how I feel about that. Uh, looking at all of these products closely, the products that contain graphene, borphine, and these other products do not last any longer than the SiO2, uh, polysilazane, titanium, TiO2 products that are available out there. They are all relying on the, the, the foundation, the base foundation, the ceramics um, that have been tried, uh, true and tried and tested and are pretty much the backbone of the coatings still out there today. Okay, next up, Fireball's Alien Blood Wax with the magnetic top, a really boutique-looking uh, enthusiast-geared wax has... Uh, T1, Carnuba, 30% uh, uh, SiO2, and really fun to work with. Again, not really sure if it's worth the price. Never really sure what you guys can pick up through the uh, viewing screens of whatever device you're using to view the video. But here in person, I can tell you this section here with the alien blood looks deep, rich, has an excellent look to it, nice slickness, probably the best overall looking section so far. And finally, Gion Q2 Wax, $59.99, and this one here is a Carnuba slash fluorine based protectant. This one here brags of insane water beating, repellency, and gloss. All right, that will do it for the last section. We have all of our contestants on the test hood here. This one here was easy to wipe off, as all of them were. No chore at all. You should be around the car quickly. Uh, they're not that far behind, uh, time-wise, the ceramic spray sealants that are out there. But with all of these rich formulas containing fluorine, graphene, SiO2, T1 carnauba, and anything under the sun mixed in, will give this proper time to cure. And then we'll come back and do some comparison. When we come back, they indeed feel they have more slickness, uh, a nice, rich, glossy look to them. The panel looks dripping wet. This panel is beat up to begin with, so it's impressive what they have done when it comes to their filling capabilities. They all have the filling capabilities. Anything that contains carnauba or polymers will do very well. Let's see which one uh, is there one that stands out when it comes to slickness.
Fireball and Art to Shine were the first two to slide off the panel. So they get, uh, we'll just make a small notation here of slickness. And we'll just make some small notes here and there as we move along. All right, now to the other side of the test panel. Over here we have turtle wax and Bashur's ceramic wax uh, start to take off right away, so we'll make a small note of that. Okay, next, let's take a look at gloss. I mean, my guess is that they're all going to be within two or three gloss units. If there's one that really stands out, we'll make a note of that as well. Out of all of them, the crystal wax stood out a little bit when it comes to gloss, and we'll write that down over here. So that one there has gloss and slickness going for it so far. When it comes to heat, let's see if any of them hold up to heat. My guess would be no, but you would think if something contained graphene or ceramic or some of the other high-profile ingredients, it would, be, it would uh, put up with a little bit of heat. Let's find out. Let's head on outside. Let's take a look at water behavior. Um, we'll first wet down the hood. I'm going to grab you in and give you a closer look at each section. Uh, there is one here that stands out. Uh, the crystal wax actually sheets water instead of beading. So those of you that have problems with hard water deposits, you may want to look into this one if you enjoy waxes. So really, out of all of these sections, the one that would have the least amount of water spots would be the one where the product made the water sheet. The two sections up here have the best beading. So that was uh, the Gion and Built Hammer sections stood out for me.
All sections were easy to dry, especially with forced air. So really the only thing left to do is check in on durability. So we're going to let Mother Nature take care of that. We'll set this panel out back in direct sunlight. We have tractor trailers driving around, a lot of dirt, a lot of heat. And periodically, maybe every two weeks, we'll check in. We'll see how the interest goes. We can continue with maybe more waxes and liquid waxes as well.